The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, Life is long if you know how to use it. But if you're like me and have a million things in life that you want to do, then things can get pretty overwhelming very quickly. Often our aspirations will simply fall on the wayside because we don't have a way to capture and turn them into actionable goals. Before long, that spark of inspiration, that gift from the muse, gets drowned out by excuses, opposing voices, and general busyness, fading into the rear view mirror of life just as quickly as it came into our minds. Hi, I'm Shang, and on this channel, I share ideas, lessons, and strategies that help us become the best versions of ourselves. Today, I want to show you how I capture my inspirations, categorize them, and ultimately transform them into actionable two-week sprints, all using a tool called Notion. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with what I call the funnel of goals and it's an overall hierarchy with five steps that's designed to make our goals more actionable and allow us to be more focused. It starts with our bucket list. These are the long lifetime goals. For example, writing a book, uh, going a 10 day meditation retreat or skydiving. The next one are medium term goals. This is the stuff that I wanna do in the next year. That's actually the primary focus of this video. Then a subsection of our medium term goals goes into the two week sprint, which I've already made a video about over here. And from there, we derive our daily to do's. These are the actionable things that we have to get done today. And these are also the building blocks of the two week sprint. And finally, there is the retrospective, which is the reflection portion that allows me to actually triangulate what I liked, what I didn't like, what went well, what didn't go so well. I also made a video previously on this step as well. On the spectrum between ideas and execution, bucket lists exist on the pure ideas. These are things that we dream up of. And then on the execution side, we have the to-dos. These are literally the things that we need to achieve day after day. And then finally, the reflection portion, the retrospective, improves the two week sprints, what we want to achieve in two weeks, and updates our medium term goals. Because sometimes when we come up with these dreams that we want to do, or big projects, uh, overarching goals, we may or may not actually like them, right? And the two week sprints then allow us to experiment and actually see whether or not uh, we want to actually dedicate more of our life to it. So the retrospective is very important in updating two week sprints week over week, as well as our medium term goals, the stuff that we wanna do in the next year. Together, these five steps help us break down our big, hairy, overarching goals into actionable steps and also integrate a reflection step that allows us to actually figure out what is it that we actually like. Because when we come up with certain goals or aspirations, it's a bit of a fantasy, right? We picture ourselves doing it, but we actually don't know whether or not we like to do it until we start trying. And that's the beauty of having things broken down into two week sprints and actionable to do's. Let's talk about Notion for a sec. If you're not familiar with this tool, it is basically a project management platform, a note-taking app, a wiki, a collaboration tool, and a publishing platform all in one. So needless to say, it is very, very powerful. And there are a ton of tutorials out there that will give you a much more in-depth overview of what this thing can do. So today we're gonna go through the medium term goals. These are the running list of things that I wanna do in the next year or so. And in Notion, I've created a Kanban board in order to track all of these. And what a Kanban board is, it's a tool that's used in project management that tracks the multiple process of one particular task from the beginning to the completion. And you can name these tasks and stages however you want to. And over here, I've got ideas, not started, in progress, hold, and done. So you can have as many steps as you want to. But the whole point of this is that you name the, the columns in the steps that matter to you. So for example, in ideas, this is literally a big list of all the things that have come to mind, right? In a way, this is almost kind of like a bucket list of sorts, but things that I know that is more or less achievable within the next 12 months. And then not started. 
this is kind of like almost like a short list, right? This is like the stuff that um, I would like to do in the upcoming two week sprints. In progress, this means I am literally working on this in my current two week sprint. This is what I'm focused on in these 14 days and or basically eight weeks, depending on how many sprints these things overlap with each other. And then finally, hold. Hold are typically something that I previously had in a prior sprint, but then I decided to hold it off for one reason or another. And uh, so for example, over here, I've got get through level three calisthenics. There's actually a program, a five level program in calisthenics that I'm doing um, that, you know, I was trying to follow through with it, but uh, life happened essentially. For example, I went off on a nature solo. So that was very difficult to actually maintain since I didn't have a pull-up bar um, <laughs> in the forest. And uh, so daily meditation, this is something that I would like to revisit in the coming weeks. It's just that right now it's a little bit more hectic, right? So nothing wrong with putting certain things on hold. It just doesn't clutter up my current in progress, what I really want to focus on today. And then finally done. So done is done, right? These are the things that I have essentially completed at some point of my prior uh, two week sprints. And then Notion, you'll notice that all of these are cards that are right underneath, that are populating each of the stages, right? And the cool thing with these cards is that you're able to customize the different fields to what matters to you. So for example, if I wanted to get consistent sleep, that's like an idea, right? Then I'll put consistent sleep with a low emoji, and then I've got the different fields of why, deadline, priority, status, and category. So I put a why here primarily because I, I think that it's really important to actually, you know, really ask ourselves, why are we doing the things we want to do? So for example, sleep is obviously very, very important. It bleeds into everything else. Another reason could be that I want to create a, a content backlog of four videos, right? And this is because I don't want to be rushed just trying to crank out a video on the on the day of or on the week of and then the quality suffers. You guys should not be putting up with bad content from me anyways. Going back to here, we've got deadline. So deadline is going to be important. Um, not so important in the ideas part because again, it's almost kind of like a running bucket list of things that you want to do. However, I would definitely start assigning deadlines as soon as it touches the either not started, this is kind of like the backlog of two week sprint items, or in progress. It should definitely have a deadline by the time that's in progress. Priority, so this is how important it is in my life in order to achieve this thing, right? So this is between low, medium, and high. So status is reflective of which part of the columns it's located. And then finally, we got category. So for category, I've got a bunch of stuff. These are essentially tags. And sometimes, you know, one particular card or goal is not going to fit neatly in just one place. So sleep, because it touches on everything else, it's definitely health and productivity at least, right? But these are the other um, pretty common categories that I found pretty useful to actually put in as well. And then on top of that, you can add additional properties and, you know, you got different text based stuff. You got formulas based. So yeah, no, it's super, super customizable. And you can also leave comments for yourself um, as well as put more uh, things here, which I'll get into in a bit. And when I'm ready to move certain things around, I literally just click and drag over here and you're able to populate it right away into the in progress or hold or done uh, columns. So one of the tips I have around the titles especially is that in the ideas bucket, you don't really need to have um, you know, actionable steps, right? It just, it's like a goal, like getting back into martial arts, uh, learn crypto trading or get on Twitter. But as you start progressing it into the not started, the backlog basically and in progress, you want to change that title into something that is a bit more actionable. So this is using the smart goals framework of specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time framed. So for example, get consistent sleep is not exactly a smart goal because it's not specific or measurable, 
right? In order to make it more smart, what I did here, for example, with YouTube is YouTube create a content backlog of specifically four videos by September 7th. So I've made it specific, measurable, right? Actionable because it's now in the progress column or part of my two week sprint. It is realistic, that's for sure. And then finally, it's time frame by September 7th. All right, let's take a look at the specific cards now. So a few other cool features about this particular table is that you can definitely customize the view. So for example, let's go to properties. I've got, you know, the car preview. Um, I don't have a page cover for any of this. Basically, this is kind of like the little graphic, fun graphic that you can actually put in each Notion page. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, the card size is medium because otherwise it's super small. I don't really need that. Not too big either. Otherwise, you know, I think medium for me has actually been pretty good. I definitely want the name. This is essentially the title of the card. I like to see the category um, that belongs to the priority, the deadline, the stat. Uh, I don't really need the status. The status is already covered in the actual columns. That's implicit, right? And then find the why. The why is super important because at a glance, I actually want to see why am I doing all of these goals, right? Why am I doing anything that I'm doing? I really preferred this view essentially and in this particular fashion. This is one of the things I've been wanting to do, which is actually outsource some of the editing so that I can actually create more content for you guys as well. What you'll notice is that I can actually put a Kanban board inside a Kanban board. And the cool thing about this is that because each of these cards can and is a project in its own right, which means that you need to have project management <laughs> in order to get these things done, especially for the ones that are a multi-step process, right? It's a really, the key is to break down the complexity of a particular goal into actionable steps. And then you can translate that into a daily to-do list. So what I have here is hire a video editor. And I've made it a copy, so for example, in the beginning, I create a board and then I just list out, essentially, these are three simple steps, not started, in progress, and completed. Because for this, it's not very complicated. You don't want to make it very complicated. The more steps there are, the, the more uh, likely you're going to get lost in the actual process and actually not get things done. And this is a logical series of steps that is required for me to actually outsource video editing. So here I've got a uh, shootout job post. I got to make a job post. Let's see. Right. So the other cool thing within Notion is that you can actually open up every single uh, card within a card. It's like a nesting structure, right? And here I can actually create like a draft of a, a job post that I can put onto, you know, various different outsourcing things. So once that's done or, you know, if that's in progress, that means I'm working on it. Once that's done, I can move it into completed and then determine the platform. Is it Upwork? Is it People Per Hour? Is it Fiverr, right? Shortlist applicants. Sometimes this can happen in tandem where, for example, I've determined the platform, which is, you know, it could be Fiverr and, uh, and Upwork. And then shortlist applicants give a sample task. So eventually you're going to have a Kanban board that looks kind of like this, where you've got you know, multiple steps in progress within a actual card that is within your, all your cool things that you wanna do this year. Now that we covered how to use the Notion board, let's tie it together with the two-week sprint because that's ultimately what is going to make us accountable and actionable towards reaching these goals in the first place, right? So for example, uh, in my current sprint, I wanna create a content backlog of four videos, right? So over here, I've already categorized that it's a high priority, it's in progress, it's part of my career, and why I'm doing it. Then what I'll do is during my two week sprint planning, I will basically outline that as a category under YouTube, and then have content as a separate node, and then have publish as well as pipeline as these you know, different goals, right? And then I'll also assign a, for example, a two week or a two day time frame into it in order to make sure that, hey, everything is time framed in order to have it achieved. Again, this two days is like an estimate. This is how long I think it's actually gonna plan as well as to produce. So this is basically how we are going to transform the in-progress cards into actionable mind maps or two-week sprints. And from the two-week sprint, then 
that's when I create essentially my daily to do's because my daily to do's need to actually start, um, you know, going back towards this card. So for example, if I want to create a, a board in line, you know, track all of this, I'm going to put again, so no status. I hate that <laughs> default feature not started, right? These are the different um, ideas that I have. So I want to make a video about Rilke, the poet, uh, this video about the notion board, mind mapping, daily to do's, and then maybe just, you know, another video about the whole process. So in progress, it's currently Rilke and then right now the notion board and not started are these two, right? So the de deadline I set for myself is September 7th. I could move that up if I wanted to as well. So again, this needs to be tied together with the mind maps and the two week sprints in order to make it more effective. Otherwise, you're just gonna have essentially a bunch of cars on a board and just sitting there. So make it fluid, make it actionable. All right, guys, that is how I capture and transform my aspirations into results using Notion. In a future episode, I'm gonna show you how I mind map out my daily to-dos. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and until next time, take care now.